Hello, Philippines. Mabuhay, Germany. We're now in Dresden. Before we bring you around the city, we'll give you a quick tour of our beautiful apartment. Entrance and the ante room. And to your right is the first bathroom where your washing machine is located. The very spacious living room, the dining table, the kitchen, complete with a microwave, oven, refrigerator, wine cooler, wine cooler, electric stove, and there's a patio, a balcony over there. This is a foldable bed, and this is a sofa bed. bed. And going to the bedroom, there's the bedroom and the walk in closet, a huge walk in closet, and master bedroom's toilet, complete with sauna and a jacuzzi. Very nice place. This is our apartment from outside. I think we have that corner apartment on the second floor there. This is a huge apartment complex with a Middle Eastern supermarket over there, leader. And this is our neighborhood. And there's a big German supermarket to the left over there. Called Reve. Reve. And if you want to know the details of this apartment, leave a comment below and we'll answer your questions. This is our apartment again. And that's again the leader supermarket. And we're very, very near the Zwinger complex over there. Very near our apartment is actually the tram stop over there. So if you want to use the tram from the main Dresden Train, train station. station. It's around 15 minutes. 15 minutes from there, and you stop here, and it's about one minute walk to the apartment. This is the tram stop nearest the apartment. This is a very huge apartment complex. Meron silang garden in the middle of the complex, which you can access during the day. Our first top spot here in Dresden is the Zwinger Complex. This crown gate is actually the symbol of Augustus the Strong's Polish kingship. Unfortunately, there is construction inside the complex. This building to the left is actually the Royal Cabinet of Mathematical and Physical Instruments. There's uh, the most extensive German collection of historical clocks and early precision instruments for science over here. We came from here, and this is the math and physics cabinet. That's the arcade gallery over there, which I think is also the French pavilion. This is the Semper um, building, or the Semper, Semper gallery which is the largest building here in the complex. And directly opposite the French pavilion is the German pavilion. Our second top spot here in Dresden is the Alt Market, which is the old market square. This is the main square in the old city. And this is where the famous uh, Christmas market is held since 1434. The church over there is the Church of the Holy Spirit, Dresden's main Protestant church. And right across the Alt Market is the Palace of Culture, which is the concert hall for the Philharmonic Orchestra of Dresden. There are five bronze doors here at this Palace of Culture where the history of Dresden is depicted. Our next stop is the House of the Estate. This is one of the architectural gems of the city. It was built in the 1700s and it was used to house the Saxon representatives. This palace-looking building over here 
is actually their Royal Police Department. Beside the Royal Police Department is the Albertino structure over here. This is a museum that houses a great collection of sculptures. We made a stop over here at the Bruce Garden, which is beside the Academy of uh, Fine Arts and the Albertine, and overlooking the river. And across the river is actually the new city where the new town. This is the Academy of Fine Arts, which was built in 1887 to 1894, but extensively rebuilt in 1991. That dome structure over there is famously called the Lemon Squeezer. And that other dome structure over there is actually the Church of Our Lady, which is our next stop. This is the most important Protestant Baroque church building in Germany. And this is Lutheran. This was destroyed during the war, reduced to rubbles. And that dome structure over there is actually made of sandstone. And the cross on top of that was entirely funded by the British uh, government and by the nations and was actually constructed by a goldsmith whose father was one of the uh, pilots for one of the planes that bombed uh, Dresden. This Church of Our Lady is actually in the middle of the New Market Square. The New Market Square, like the Church of Our Lady, was reduced to rubbles during the war and was rebuilt and now surrounded by private houses and restaurants. This is the Museum Johannium or the Transport Museum since Germany is famous for its cars Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Volkswagen Our next stop is the Royal Palace Museum or the Residence Museum, right? Yep How much is the entrance again? For the regular museum floors, uh, it's 12 euros the one with the historic uh, rooms, it's 14 and for combined, for all floors, it's 24 euros. Procession of Princes. From Conrad the Great in 1127 to King George in 1904, we're there at the other end. Painted on Mason porcelain. And this is the largest porcelain picture in the world. The only king missing here is actually Frederick Augustus III. Aside from royalties, there are scientists, soldiers, farmers, and two greyhounds over there. Let's look for them. Over there. And that over there is the Church of the Holy Trinity, the Catholic Church. This is 4,800 square meters, which is the largest church in Germany. It has 74 statues of saints and four allegorical structure over there on top of the bell tower, which symbolizes faith, hope, love, and justice. And this is the other side of the cathedral. Inside is actually a marble altar with silver treasure of the church and a picture of the ascension of Christ. This was decreed to be a cathedral in 1980. This structure over here is the Semper Opera House with a statue, bronze statue of King Johan over there in the middle. 
making you and is actually a learned sovereign and translated the divine comedy in Murano. This is the old town of Dresden and we're now here at the Augustus Bridge, the famous Augustus Bridge which was mentioned as early as 1287 and reconstructed in 1907 to 1910 and connects the old town with the new town over there. We're now crossing the Augustus Bridge, going to the new town. We end our tour here at the inner new town and at this famous statue over here, the Golden Horseman, Augustus the Strong. <laughs> 